Hi, Year 11. It's Mr. Mordick here. I just want to talk to you about your PPE exams that are going to take place in January. First of all, by now you should have received a timetable of your exams. If you haven't or you've lost them, you can find them on the school website. So if you go to the school website, um, under exams, the drop down there, there's something that says Year 11 PPEs January 2021. Click on there and a new timetable will appear for you to print out. Um, some of you, um, and it only affects three or four students, have a clash. You study both business studies and health and social care. Now these exams are gonna be taking place at exactly the same time. So for some of you, you will have to do one of them another time. So Miss Hamilton will contact you and tell you what the arrangements are there. Now, the exam locations. For the majority of you, you will be using the sports hall. There are a few exceptions, so French and Spanish exams uh, for listening and reading will take place in other locations around the school. And your tutors will tell you where to go just before these exams take place. Um, there are a few of you that won't be in the sports hall and they'll be in other locations around the school, for instance, the dance studio or the sixth form common room. Um, you will be told where you're going. So if you're not told, then assume you are going to be in the sports hall. Now, what we've done because of COVID times, um, you will be sitting all of your exams, except for the French and Spanish, in the same location at the same seats. So what will happen is when you go to your very first exam, you'll notice where you're sitting. That is where you will sit for the remainder of your exams for the, those two weeks. So the arrangements for the morning exams. If you haven't got an exam in the morning, you are to go to lessons as normal, you'll have break as normal. However, if you are sitting an exam in the morning, you are go, gonna go straight to the exam location at 8.30. So when you're told to go into school um, from outside the diner at 8.30, you go straight to your exam location if you are sitting an exam. If you are sitting an exam in the morning, you will have a different break time to students that don't have an exam. So you will have your full exam time and then immediately after the exam, you'll have your 20 minute break then before going off to lesson three. Now, any student that sits a morning exam you need to bring a snack with you uh, because you won't be able to go to the main hall because there'll be another bubble in the main hall having their break time at the same time. Um, so what will happen is you'll be, after the exam, you'll be told to go into the tennis courts and that's where you'll be able to stay for 20 minutes. There will be toilets that are open next to technology that you'll be able to use, but you won't be able to go to your usual location uh, because that will be being used by another bubble. For afternoon exams, this is for everybody because all the afternoon exams involves the whole of year 11. You'll be dismissed from lesson four at 12.55, so five minutes earlier than you usually would. At that time, you are to make your way to the exam location for 1 p.m. If you need to use the toilets before the exam, then you may do. You need to use the toilets near technology. So you can see there on the map next to the courts, if you go in through that entrance, the back end of technology, there are two toilets there, a male and a female toilet. They are the toilets you can use. Please do not go to any other toilet location because they will be being used for lunch times by other year groups, other bubbles, and we need to keep you apart. And the quicker the exam start in the afternoon, the quicker you will go home because you will be dismissed directly from the hall or the exam location um, off site. Year 11s, what do you do when you're not in exams? Well, you will attend lessons as normal. Now, some teachers may wish to do some revision with you. They may want you to do revision on their subject. Others may allow you 
to do some revision for exams that you may have later on that day. However, it is the class teacher's decision and what they say stands. So by all means, bring some revision, definitely bring some revision into school every day uh, for your exams, uh, but you, we don't know what you'll be doing. That will be based on the teacher, what they decide. I want to talk to you quickly about some rules and regulations. Now, JCQ, they are the exam regulators for the UK. They are the one that makes the rules for your summer exams. So what we are going to do is to prepare you for the summer exams. We are going to be using exactly the same rules and regulations, so there's no surprises. Now, first of all, these are two posters that will be displayed around the area. Um, the first one has been adapted slightly this year. Um, you are not allowed mobile phones on you, as you're aware. You're now no longer allowed smartwatches on. So when you go into the exam hall, if you've got a smartwatch, you are to turn it off or put it on silent, put it into your bag along with your mobile phones. Same with MP3 and MP4 players. They are not to be on your possession at all. The other thing as well is earbuds. If you've got earbuds or earphones, they also need to be in your bag. You will get disqualified if they are caught on you in your real exams in the summer. And as I said, we want to practice what's going to happen in the summer. So you will uh, face consequences if you have these on you in your mock exams as well. So please make sure they are turned off and at the front in your bags. The warning of the candidates poster, um, at some point have a quick read of that. Um, both of these are on our school website. So your majority of you will line up in the courts um, and then you'll be brought into the exam room. Um, there will be spot checks. So person on the door, or it could be if we are inspected, which we are inspected every year in the summer, if we have an inspector, external one that comes in, they will come up and down the aisles with a detector. And if it goes off, you will get disqualified. And the only reason it will go off is if you've got any electronic device on you at all. And that includes turned off devices. It will pick up devices that are turned off. So please, again, make sure that they are all in your bag. You're not allowed to wear hoodies or jackets in the exam venues. We do have to keep windows open and potentially doors as well. Um, so can you make sure um, you wear some layers? So it might be that you want to wear a vest or you might want to wear a jumper underneath your blazer. So as you come into the exam, you put your bags at the front, you then go and sit down in your seat. Do not communicate with anyone at all. Do not help other students find their places. And also don't write anything on your exam paper until you're instructed to do so. That includes your name and candidate number and the other bits of information at the front of your paper. Please do not write anything until you are told to. If you are wearing a watch, you need to remove it and place it on your exam desk, um, unless it's a smart watch, in which case it needs to be in your bag. During the exam, use as much of the time as possible. If you finish early, please go back over and check your work again. You're not allowed to leave before the end of the exam, so you must sit quietly and not disturb other candidates. And please make sure you use the toilets before the exam starts, um, because we will not be allowing students to leave halfway through to go to the toilet. Good behaviour is required at all times. You're not to do anything that will distract other candidates. You're not to talk whilst you're in the exam room at all. That includes when the paper's been collected at the end. You have got to wait until you're outside of the exam room before you talk. If you do talk in the exam hall, even with the paper taken away, you still could potentially get disqualified. The invigilators, they're there to support you and to help you. So if you've got any problems, please put your hand up and speak to them. However, they cannot discuss the exam paper with you. They can't explain questions. They can't read out words for you. 
Um, so they are there just really to support you with any other issues, but not directly to do with the exam paper. Now, two years ago in the year 11 PPEs, uh, the fire alarm did go off. So we do need to talk to you what happens when this does happen. Hopefully it won't, but if the fire alarm was to go off, you will be asked by the invigilator to stop writing. You'll then be escorted to the tennis courts um, where you are to go in complete silence and not communicate with anybody at all. You're also to leave all exam papers, bags, jackets in the exam hall. If you are to pick up your bag, if you are to talk, you will straight away, the exam will stop. If it's the real exams in the summer, the exam board have to be informed and they will decide whether you are disqualified or not. But everything needs to be left exactly where it is. You go out to the tennis courts in silence. You'll be then brought back in when it's safe to do so. And then you'll be given the full working time for the exam. So if you had an hour left, you would have an hour um, to go when you got back in. Equipment. Please make sure you're fully equipped for every exam and bring spares. It's more important this year than any year before because we are not allowed to provide you with any equipment. So please make sure you've got a stack of black pens. Make sure you've got some pencils. Um, we are not allowed to provide any equipment at all. If you use a reading pen and you will know if you have a reading pen or not already, um, you need to bring your own headphones with a standard jack connector. If you're not sure about this, then please speak to Miss Linney or someone in student progress. But if you need a calculator or protractor or colouring pencils, please make sure you bring them because we will not be providing them. The exam desks, Please not graffiti over the exam desks as you are all sitting at the same exam desk for the two weeks. Um, if we find graffiti on your desk, then we know that it's you that has done it. So please do not graffiti over the exam desks. Now, because of COVID times, just to let you know some information about how we're trying to protect you during these exams. First of all, the exam desk will be spread out. Um, so they'll be further apart than they usually are for exams. Face masks may be worn during the exam. That is up to the individual. Students will be allocated the same seat in the same location for all of their exams. You will all be facing the front and wipes and sanitizer will be available at the front of the exam room when you enter, if you so wish to need them. Doors and windows will be open. So again, please wrap up, but no hoodies and no jackets. And also, when you're lining up, please make sure you're socially distanced from each other. That's all the information I've got from you. But if you've got any other questions at all, please come and find me. My office is opposite C14. See Miss Brown or see our exams officer, Miss Hamilton. OK, thank you. Goodbye.